But first, a halfway house in East Bakersfield has parents concerned after one of the men allegedly chased and scared several children in the area. Good evening. I'm Tim Callahan. And I'm Laura Acevedo. Tonight, I spoke to people who live near the home, and they say they're concerned about their children. In a neighborhood full of young children playing. I can't believe it, you know, really, myself, that they put something like that in this neighborhood. A halfway house on Inyo Street in East Bakersfield that also houses several registered sex offenders. I just heard my neighbor telling them, what are you doing over in the yard? And that's, that's it, and that's in my yard. Philip Grisham lives right across the street from the home. His grandchildren often visit. He says the men have never been a problem until Monday night when one of them started chasing the children across the street. One of them went over to my neighbor's yard and started chasing the kids. One woman, afraid to go on camera, said the man chased her children into her yard. The children say he was telling them he was, quote, going to get them. The mother called police. I like to see the house shut down. I mean, because it's not a good location for this house to be in. Back on Halloween, I was on a ride along with state parole when they made an arrest at this house. One of the sex offenders was arrested for having candy to distribute, something that's against parole rules. It is unclear if the man allegedly harassing the children is the same one that was arrested on Halloween night, but parents say they're concerned and will be more careful with their children. You know, now I really got to be alert because, you know, my grandchildren are important in my lives and I would hate to see one of them get hurt. The Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation says they are investigating Monday night's incident to find out which individual from the home was bothering the children. Back